This is a guide on how to host your own project Zomboy dedicated server with Steam CMD on a Windows machine. You will need to own your game with your Steam account since this will require you to log in with your Steam account to make a dedicated server and update the server when patches roll out. First off download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server. First off download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server so simply just open up a browser and just type in steam cmd downloads and make sure it's on this one go to steam cmd we have developer community click on windows click on the links to download the files extract it somewhere where you can find it easily now we'll need to launch command prompt as admin navigate to the steam cmd directory Type in this command, cd space c colon backslash steamcmd. Run the following command to download the server files. I'll go ahead and put this in the descriptions down below so you can copy and paste it. Make sure you fill in the Steam account name with your Steam account. This will also create a new folder called Project Zomboid in your C drive. Now we'll need to locate the server file settings. Navigate to your C drive and the new folder you just created, Project Zomboid. Edit the memory settings by opening Start Server 64.bat with the text editor. So right click and just edit. Find the line with dash XMS 16G and adjust to your system's capabilities. This is your memory on your machine. If you know you got 16 gigabytes of RAM, just leave it as that is. Save the file. Now we need to find the config folder, but before we do, let's run the server first to populate the needed files. Start the server with start server 64.bat file. Just double click. You'll be prompted to set an admin password if you have not yet. If Windows firewall pops up, go ahead and allow it access. Once you're at this screen, then that means your server is up and running, but go ahead and close it. We'll come back here. Now we'll need to navigate to your C drive, the users folder, your username, in my case it's the admin, Zomboid the server. Now before we start messing with the servers, let's go ahead and make a backup of the, of the settings first. Copy and paste the original file. Before we edit server test.ini, let's go ahead and make a shortcut for it because we'll come back to it. Now we'll need to edit the public, make sure it equals true the public name this is your server name so make it a friendly name so your friends can find it easily the password the server password to join the server and this is optional so you'll need to edit the server test underscore sandbox vars dot l u a for gameplay settings such as zombie speed loot rarity just need to right click on it edit and change whatever you need to on there. Once you're done, just save your changes. You will need to port forward these ports 16261, 16262, 8766. You will need to log into your router to achieve port forwarding. If you have never done this, I will kind of show you how you can. Just launch command prompt on your dedicated server. Type in ipconfig. Take note of the IPv4 address. Take note of the default gateway IP. Open up a browser. Type in the default gateway IP address. If you don't know the login information at this point, it should be on your router with a sticker with the username and password. I highly recommend changing the default password if you haven't already, just for security reasons. If you don't know how to port forward on your modem router, you may just need to Google it for your specific model. But in my case, I am going to log into my asus modem i'm gonna go to wan port forwarding add a profile and add in the ports that need to be forwarded to my dedicated servers i could not get mods to work unfortunately so i will be skipping this part otherwise i would have included it in this video but if i get any interests and time to figure it out i'll make a separate video on it all right now we'll need to launch the batch script to start the server and now we'll need to launch the game Join online game, filter in the server name, and do note on the check marks below. I did have to play around with these check marks for my server to populate. 
One way I made it appear was just to check mark it all. Put in the server password, your character name, and your character password. This will bind to your character only, preventing anyone from using your character. Hopefully this video helped out. Let me know down in the comments below what game you want to see next for a dedicated server setup. See you next time. Cheers.